What is up, you sexy beasts? Ugh. Guys, I should really be training, but uh, just really enjoying the newly heated pool. Is it just me, or do you guys really enjoy seeing how many lengths of the pool you can swim underwater? I do that with any pool I get into. I always have to see how many lengths of that pool I can hold my breath and do underwater. My record for this pool is 12 lengths. It's a five meter pool, so what's that? 60 meters with a whole lot of turning. Okay, that's enough fun in the pool. Let's go train. Okay, we're starting today's training with my absolute favorite movement in CrossFit, the power clean. We're gonna do a little clean wave. So starting at five reps, then rest three minutes, four reps, rest three minutes, three reps, and so on, two and one. We're gonna start at 65% um, of one rep max power clean, which for me will be around 80 kgs, 85. And then we'll hopefully finish the day with a nice heavy single at around 105 or 110. Should be a bit of fun. Thanks. Beautiful. Very, very happy with that. I uh, went a bit heavier than 85%. So I cleaned 120 on that last one. And uh, I haven't done, my, my one rep max power clean is 125. That was like seven, eight years ago. So uh, very happy with that 120, even though it wasn't the prettiest. Okay, the workout looks enjoyable. We've got three movements. We're gonna do each movement for a minute for max reps with a minute rest in between. We'll just repeat that four times. The first movement is supposed to be a kettlebell swing, but I just saw my dead ball there, and I haven't lifted that for ever. A 70 kg dead ball. So I'm gonna sub out the kettlebell swing for some dead ball ground to shoulder. Um, so that's gonna be interesting. Second movement is wall balls, and the third movement is burpees. <laughs> really hard then proud of that effort there was two things in that workout that really helped me on burpees when you get fatigued on burpees often you're kind of looking at the ground and I find like your chin kind of guides the rest of your spine if you're looking down you end up being kind of hunched over and not getting full extension on the burpee and so uh, I just pick a spot on the wall and as I come up out of the burpee I force myself to look up at that spot and I find as my chin comes up my whole spine straightens up and I can keep a nice uh, a nice extended finish, like a proper burpee finish. And then on the wall ball, as that ball comes down, you're just so exhausted, you wanna kind of just collapse through the spine. And I found, just saying to myself, posture up. As soon as that ball left my hands, I said posture up before it comes back down. So I have that nice solid base, nice strong spine to support myself as I catch the ball. So there's two little tips for you to try next time you have burpees or wall balls. On the wall balls, as that ball floats up, tell yourself, 
posture up. Don't allow yourself to go soft in the spine. Keep that nice strong extension through the low back. And then uh, on the burpees, pick a spot to look up as you, uh, as you come up to jump. Okay, tribe, now I've got a real treat for you. We are gonna call Mr. Noah Olsen. He's only two days out from competing at the West Coast Classic, but he's such a legend that he is uh, happy to chat. So um, let's go do that. <laughs> my boy how are you hey we are gonna get to where we're going in like how long eight minutes that's Can I call you back then? yeah sweet my buddy jacob in the back said he's a big fan stop stop you sexy beast <laughs> okay bro see you man bye Yo, yo. Hey. What up, brother? What's up, my man? How you doing? Dude, I'm, I'm in the gym. I'm hoping that you will be able to hear me well enough with the music in the background. I can hear you fine, bro. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to try to prop you up on this ladder and try to stand and chat with you. <laughs> Love it, bro. How's that? Good, man. What gym are you at? You too, brother. How are ya? Is that a fresh haircut, bro? Is that, a, is that a fresh haircut? Is that a fresh cut? For some reason, I'm not hearing you. I'm just seeing you do this. <laughs> just feeling yourself. <laughs> I was asking if um, that was a fresh cut before. It is. It was kind of earlier this week, but I feel like I need to get another one before comp day. It's already growing in pretty fast. So. Yeah. There's, there's a chance that we find a barber shop out here and get cleaned up a little bit. And um, what does Noah get up to in, uh, in Vegas four days before the comp? We have spent the last three days just kind of, or not the last three, the last two, just getting acclimated, getting set up. You know, we got an Airbnb out here. Um, and I wasn't going to do this, but one of our friends, one of my uh, training partners, fellow competitors, Kyle Bernier, went to Target and bought a whole bunch of stuff to make his bed more comfortable. And I went along for the ride, so I bought a mattress topper, I bought a pillow, I bought sheets. And so it feels like home. I got our bed set up, we got a bunch of groceries, we worked out yesterday, went and we hung out by the pool. So we're doing all the right stuff, it feels like. Love it, bro. Is um, Dr. Joe coming up to Vegas for the weekend? Dr. Joe is <laughs> on her way. She flies in tonight, which is gonna be awesome. And it's going to feel even more special than usual, I think, just because we have been kind of long distance for the last couple of months. I've been up in Georgia, she's been in Miami, so I haven't seen her in about two to three weeks. So it'll be nice to have her here. That'll give me a little superpower boost. I was just uh, sit down on this little chair. It's like a shower chair, and I'll just prop you up here. Love being in the shower with you, bro. <laughs> I can hear you fine. I was. Yeah, amazing. I was saying that um, Dr. Joe, she she graduated with honors and received the Excellence Award, is that correct? Yeah, she did, man. I was so proud of her. It was really cool. It was actually the the graduation. They had two versions of it for her class this year. There was one virtual one for everybody and people that couldn't make it back for whatever reason, and then one in person. And during the virtual one, we just had it set up where it was kind of Joanne my family, her family, and a couple of our friends at our house, and we were watching on our TV. And when they were going through and kind of reading the description of the person that had won the award that was eventually her, it was uh, it was really cool. It reminded me of like the NFL draft. You know, you see the guys that are sitting at home on their couches and they're watching the TV and they're waiting and then they hear their name called and everybody in the house like goes crazy. Yeah, that's kind of what it was when they said that Joanne is the one that wins the Critical Excellence Award. Everybody in our house like. Jumped up into the <laughs> screen and had tears in their eyes, and it was really special. Oh, that's so cool, man! Well, give a give a big uh, hug of congratulations from me. I will. Thank you. How are your girls? Yeah, they're great, man. Um, Bex actually just finished off uh, her job last Friday, and now she's working oh, from cool. working from home with me, which is so cool. Amazing. So um, yeah, so I've got you set up on her desk right here now. So uh, yeah, yeah, so it's cool. And young uh, young Karis has an athletics day today, so I'm gonna go watch her smash on the athletics track. Nice. So, yeah, right. Cool. What's her specialty? 
Oh, she's only nine, so they they do everything. So they do they do okay. the whole lot. Yeah, they have a go at everything. <laughs> but she's a bit of a she's a bit of a jumper. She's a bit of a long jumper and high jumper, I think. So. Very cool. Yeah, man. I'm sure you're proud. I am, bro. Um, Gymshark, I haven't spoken to you since you uh, signed it, so congratulations, man. That's epic. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really excited. I, it definitely was kind of unexpected. Um, we started negotiations with a new like shoe and apparel brand at the beginning of this year, and it, everything kind of we, we wanted to purposely take our time. Myself and Dijon, who you know, is my manager. Um, and we were talking to a few different companies, and when we got connected to Gymshark, it kind of felt like it was like, ah, I mean, it's worth entertaining a conversation, but it's so different, and I don't know, I don't know. And the more that we talked to them, the more I was like, oh, wow, this actually seems like a really good fit. This could be a really cool relationship. And when it came down to it, it was the, the best decision for both parties. So I'm really excited. So far, it's been awesome. They've got a great team. The product is really, really cool. So. So far, so good, man. I'm excited to wear them out on the competition floor for the first time this weekend. Totally, bro. I think it's a sick brand, man. I've been following, um, what's the CEO's name? I've been following his channel. Um, ben Francis. That's right, yeah. So, uh, pretty amazing story. Yeah, I love it. It's cool, yeah, man. Yeah, sure. And on that topic, I've seen you rock, um, on the shoe front, I've seen you rock the Pumas and also the Innovates. What do you think? Yeah. Is, what do you think yeah, of shoe-wise? I have kind of uh, some foot freedom right now, so I can for the first time in a while, experiment, explore, try different stuff. So I kind of have been. There's a chance that we sign a little footwear deal to kind of tie into the Gymshark Apparel deal, um, but we may not as well. So it's just kind of cool to have the freedom right now. And uh, I'm, I'm liking different shoes from different people, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, sweet. And yeah. Um, I was looking through your results and some of these workouts from this coming weekend, because obviously most of them are repeat workouts. Um, yeah. And it seemed like in all the events you did fairly well. Bar the ruck run was probably your worst one out of the lot. How are you feeling? Yeah. About, how are you feeling about that for this year? The ruck run in particular. Yeah, and all the workouts. Yeah, yeah I mean, the ruck definitely wasn't my best finish. But we were talking about it the other day. That year, or, or any of the events that are from the games, you're going against like the top forty guys in the entire world. So. It's so hard to tell. I don't know what our field here looks like. And I don't like to like look at the leaderboard and take other people's names and be like, oh, this guy's really good at that. I just I try not to play that game. But there's a chance that I was 24th at the games that year and I end up in first on that event this year, even if my like running capacity hasn't changed much, but just because of the field of guys that we're going up against or the environment or whatever it may be. So I'm not like particularly more nervous about that event because it was my lower finish. Um, but... I think one advantage that I, I maybe do have to a lot of the competitors is that I have competed all of these workouts on a, a competition floor, or I've, I've completed all of these in a competitive setting. Um, in addition to that, I've actually competed in this arena, in this venue, for some grid league stuff back in the day. They had a grid league combine okay. and a couple matches out here. So um, I've got the familiarity with the events, with the venue. Hopefully that plays to my favor. Like, man, I love it. And any other events? Yeah. Uh, any of the events stand out as like a man? This is the one I'm gonna really smash, or one of them you really like? Uh, man, I, I really do like them all. I know that's kind of a boring, cliche answer. Uh, I'm pretty excited for the chipper. I tweaked my shoulder up a little bit a couple weeks ago, and that was making me really nervous for that hundred pound dumbbell. But it's feeling much, much better. So. As long as I can move that well, I think everything that leads up to that is uh, pretty good for me. I've been, I told Max, my coach, that after quarterfinals, I struggled on the GHD sit-ups. I said, from now to the games, I want to become the king of GHD sit-ups. Like, let's just do 200 every week in whatever capacity that you want. So we've been doing a lot of work on those, and I'm hoping that they buy me a little bit of extra time um, on that event. But we'll see. They should all be good, man. I'm excited. I love it, man. When you just said, um, I told Max, I thought you told Dog Max. I was like, he's talking to his Dog Max about his game plans. Yeah, That's we, awesome. we, we, we go back and forth about <laughs> that stuff too. We give suggestions. And yeah. Uh, it's so good, man. And um, people should go watch your vlog, um, your later vlog about the uh, the kidney stones. But uh, yeah, I'm pumped that they all pass, man. That's, um, that's unreal. <laughs> Me too, man. Yeah, it's been such a weird, like, at this point, it's been like a month and a half um, of, long story short, I like, in the heat of training back in like the end of April, 
I peed blood and I was like, huh, that's weird. I wonder if that's like rhabdo related a little bit. So I just hydrated a ton and it went away. And then a couple weeks later, I was peeing blood again. And I was like, mm, I, something doesn't seem right about that. So we went to the hospital, got my creatine kinase levels checked, which is kind of what rhabdo is based off of. And they were like elevated, but nothing crazy. And they're like, okay, I guess I'm fine. And maybe it was just a little bit of that. And then a week after that, I got this really, really extreme pain in my stomach. Went to the hospital again. They did a CAT scan and said that I had a CT. I'm sorry. They said that I had a kidney stone. Um, And it was so large that they had to do a procedure to remove it. The procedure went by. I was supposed to have gotten all better. It was still like all this delayed after effects. Like weeks later, still experiencing pain, still experiencing the blood in my urine. And it just didn't feel right. And then so finally, like you were referencing in my latest vlog, I had gone to the hospital and my guy Joe that was filming me happened to catch the conversation with my doctor where he called me to tell me that something that, not that he's never seen before, but something that was kind of surprising and unexpected that I guess when they removed the one stone, all the other ones that I happened to have in there that weren't even causing any issue just decided to pass, which for the two or three weeks that they were passing was very uncomfortable, but now that they're all gone, I guess it was kind of a blessing in disguise. Totally, man. That's so good. Yeah. So yeah. good. Love it. Was, it. it was tricky to train around all of that and just like emotionally being by myself, being in a hospital so much and it was hard to process, but now that I'm past it, I think that if I'm able to qualify and do well this weekend, it might make it just a little bit more not rewarding but special you know to have overcome some of this difficulty and then still have been able to be successful so I'm hoping that's the case of course man oh, I can't wait to watch it all man can't wait to follow along this weekend and watch you dominate yeah, yeah. yeah bro are you trying yeah, I hope so it's gonna be good I don't think I've competed in a venue in front of fans since man has it been Waterpalooza I mean I was at the games that were in like October of last year, and prior to that, I think it was Wadapalooza, which was in February. So yeah, how long? How long has it been since then? That was February of 2020. Yeah, over a year. Right? Past February of 21. So yeah, a year and change. That's so unreal. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, man. I will lap it up, bro. Enjoy it. Um, are you training now? What are you doing? Just a bit of a rolling out. Yeah, just trying to move in. We did a little run out in the desert heat this morning. It was like 110 degrees. Um, it's it's crazy. It's very hot, but it doesn't. It feels different. It's such a dry heat. I'm used to like the Miami humidity. Yeah. That was just like miserable because you're drenched in sweat. This we ran for 30 minutes in 110 degree heat and we're barely sweating at all. So it's different. Yeah. But, um, I'm sure it'll play a factor in the weekend somehow. Yeah. Love it, bro. Well, I appreciate you making the time. I'm sure the Sexy Beast tribe course, appreciate seeing you as well. So, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, thank you, all you Sexy Beasts. Maybe we'll uh, get to chat with them again after this weekend and hopefully in the lead up to the games. Yeah, bro. Let's do it. I look forward to it. Awesome, brother. All right, thank brother. You. Much love, man. Enjoy your day. You too, bro. Oh, man. I love that dude so much. Noah, thanks again for your time. We appreciate it. And uh, myself, and I'm sure all the Sexy Beast tribe, We'll be uh, cheering for you this weekend. Guys, stay sexy, keep roaring love, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.